Hello everyone, welcome to High School Mathematics channel. Today we are going to learn class 7 chapter 3 simple equations exercise 3.1. Let us see now first sum. Write the equations of the following mathematical statements. See the first one. A number x decreased by 5 is 14. Number x that is x decreased by 5 that is minus 5 is 14 that equals to 14. Therefore, the simple equation is x minus 5 equals to 14. See now second one. 8 times of y plus 3 is minus 5. 8 times of y that is 8y plus 3 is minus 5. So the simple equation is 8y plus 3 equals to minus 5. See now third one if you add 1 fourth of z to 3 you get 7. 1 fourth of z that is z by 4 if you add 3 we get answer 7. So, the simple equation is z by 4 plus 3 equals to 7. See now first question fourth sum. If you take away 5 from 3 times of m, you get 11. 3 times of m means 3m. Take away 5 means minus 5. That equals to 11. Therefore, the simple equation is 3m minus 5 equals to 11. See now fifth one. Sum of angles 2x, x minus 30 is a right angle. Sum means we have to add these two angles. That is 2x plus x minus 30. That equals to right angle means 90 degrees. That implies 2x plus x means 3x minus 30. That equals to 90 degrees. Therefore, the simple equation is 3x minus 30 that equals to 90 degrees. See now sixth question. The perimeter of a square of side A is 14 meters. Given side of a square is A. Perimeter of a square we know the formula 4 into side that equals to 4 into side is A. That is 4 into A. But they have given perimeter as 14 meters that is 14. Therefore both are perimeter only let us equate them 4A equals to 14. Therefore the simple equation is 4A equals to 14. See now question number 2. Write the following equations in statement form. See the first one m minus 5 that equals to 12. Now the statement is a number m is decreased by 5 is 12. See now second one a by 3 equals to 4. One third of a is 4. See now third one 4x plus 7 that equals to 15. 7 is added to 4 times of x is 15. See now fourth one 2 minus 3y equals to 11. 3 times of y is subtracted from 2 is 11. See now third question. Check whether the value given in the brackets is a solution to the given equation or not. See the first sum. 5n minus 7 equal to 23. They are given n value equals to 6. Let us see the solution. Given 5n minus 7 equals to 23. When n equal to 6, we have taken left hand side that is LHS equals to 5n minus 7. That equals to 5 into n value is 6 minus 7. That equals to 5, 6 are 30. Minus 7. 30 minus 7 is 23. RHS that is right hand side they have given 23. Here LHS value and RHS value both are equal. So n equal to 6 is a solution of the given equation. See third question second sum. P by 4 minus 7 equal to 5. They have given P value equals to 8. Let us see the solution. Given P by 4 minus 7 equal to 5 is the equation. When p equals to 8, we have taken LHS value that is p by 4 minus 7 that equals to p value is 8. So write down 8 by 4 minus 7 that equals to 4 table 4 ones are 4, 4 twos are 8 that equals to 2 minus 7 that equals to 2 minus 7 answer is minus 5. We have RHS that is right hand side value is 5. Minus 5 and plus 5 both are not equal. Here LHS is not equals to RHS. 
So, P equal to 8 is not a solution of the given equation. See now third question, third sum. 5 minus 2x equal to 19. They have given x value equals to minus 7. Let us see the solution. Given 5 minus 2x equal to 19. When x value is equal to minus 7. We have taken LHS value 5 minus 2x. That equals to 5 minus 2. X value is minus 7. Let us substitute that. That equals to 5. Minus it to minus plus 14. So 5 plus 14 is 19. They have given RHS value as 19. Therefore LHS value, RHS value both are equal. Here LHS is equal to RHS. So x equal to minus 7 is solution of the given equation. See now third question fourth sum. 2 plus 3 into m minus 1 equals to 5. They have given m value as minus 2. Let us see the solution. Given equation is 2 plus 3 into m minus 1 equal to 5. When m value they are given as minus 2. We have taken LHS value as 2 plus 3 into m minus 1. That equals to 2 plus 3 into m value is minus 2. Keep this minus 1. That equals to 2 plus 3 into minus 2 minus 1 that is minus 3. That equals to 2. Plus into minus, minus 3, 3 is a 9. 2 minus 9, that is minus 7. Here RHS, that is right hand side value is 5. Here LHS value and RHS value are both are not equal. So LHS is not equal to RHS. So M equal to minus 2 is not a solution of the given equation. See now fourth question. Solve the following equations using trial and error method. See the first sum 3x minus 7 equal to 5. Here we have taken tabular form x value. LHS equals to 3x minus 7. RHS is equal to 5. Is LHS is equal to RHS or not? See now x value we have taken as 0. We substituted x value equals to 0 in 3x minus 7. That equals to 3 into 0 minus 7. That equals to 3 into 0 is 0. Minus 7 that equals to answer minus 7. RHS is 5. Both are not equal. So LHS is not equal to RHS. Next x value is equal to 1. So 3 into 1 minus 7 that equals to 3 into 1 is 3 minus 7. So 3 minus 7 is minus 4 and RHS value is 5. Both are not equal. So LHS value is not equal to RHS. Now x value is equal to 2. 3 into 2 minus 7. That equals to 3 2s are 6 minus 7. That equals to 6 minus 7 answer is minus 1. But RHS value is 5. Both are not equal. So LHS value is not equal to RHS. Now the X value is 3. 3 into 3 minus 7. That equals to 3 3s are 9 minus 7. That equals to 9 minus 7 means 2. So the answer is 2. But RHS value is 5. Here also both are not equal. Now we have taken X value as 4. 3 into 4 minus 7 that equals to 3 4s are 12 minus 7 that is 12 minus 7 5. RHS value is 5. Now LHS is equal to RHS. So we have written here S. For X value equal to 4, LHS is equal to RHS. So X equal to 4 is the solution of the given equation. See now fourth question second sum 5 minus Y equals to minus 1. Here in this table form we have taken 4 columns. First one y value, next LHS equals to 5 minus y, RHS equals to minus 1, is LHS is equal to RHS or not? First we have taken y value as 0, in the equation 5 minus y we substituted 0 value. So 5 minus 0 that equals to 5, here RHS value is minus 1, both are not equal, so we have written here no. Next we have taken y value as 1. Now if we substitute 1 here, 5 minus 1 that equals to 4 and RHS value is minus 1, both are not equal. So we have written here no. Next we have taken y value as 2. 5 minus y that equals to 5 minus y plus we substituted 2. So 5 minus 2 answer is 3. But RHS value is minus 1, both are not equal. Again here we have written as no. Now we have taken y value as 3. So 5 minus 3 that equals to 2, RHS value is minus 1. 
Both are not equal. So here again no we have written. Next y value is equal to 4. 5 minus 4 equals to 1 and RHS value is minus 1. Plus 1 and minus 1 both are not equal. So we have written here no. Next y value equals to 5. So 5 minus 5 is 0 and RHS value is minus 1. Here also LHS and RHS both are not equal. So we have written no here. Last we have taken y value as 6. So 5 minus 6 that equals to minus 1. And RHS value is minus 1. Here both LHS and RHS are equal. Here we have written S. So for y equal to 6, LHS is equal to RHS. So y equal to 6 is the solution of the given equation. Today we have seen chapter 3 simple equations exercise 3.1 all sums. Hope you all like this video. If you like this video please like, share to your friends and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.